Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee and the Word. Happy Friday. It is uh, Friday, January the 15th. Oh my goodness, it's payday at work, y'all. Mm-hmm. It's payday at work. My kids get to eat this weekend. <laughs> hey, I uh, just wanted to say I really enjoy doing this every morning. Uh, and if you like what you see, I'd appreciate it if you'd... Uh, 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 subscribe to the YouTube channel and, uh, because we're thinking of some more content to come on there. And, uh, so, uh, it should be, uh, should be a fun time. Uh, also <clears throat> like to ask your, uh, for your prayers. My, my aunt and uncle in North Carolina are not doing very well at all. Um, it's not looking good. I'm just, uh, prayers for, for peace uh, within the family. Um, they're having a rough time right now. So, um, my prayers are with them and I'd appreciate it. So anyway, grace and peace to you from God, our father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, I hope and pray you're all doing well this morning. Looking forward to a three day weekend here. Uh, let's see the first readings. Um, well, the readings we're going, uh, we're going back to Psalm 139, then we're going to judges and then we're going to acts. Uh, so Psalm 139 verses 1 through 6, and then it skips over to 13 through 18. And again, I'm reading from, uh, uh, this is the, the Revised Common Lectionary, and I'm reading the English Standard Version. <clears throat> uh, and as always, may God bless the reading of his word. O oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down, and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, behold, O oh Lord, you know it all together. You hem me in, behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain it. And then over to verse 13. For you formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you. When I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed substance. In your book were written, every one of them, the days that were formed for me, when I was yet there, uh, was none. When, <clears throat> when as yet there was none of them. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them! If I would count them, they would. They are more than the sand. I awake, and I am still with you. All right. Get a little coffee here. Uh, next, uh, we're going to, in the Old Testament, we're going to Judges chapter 2, verses 16 through 23. And here we go. Then the Lord raised up judges who saved them out of the hand of those who plundered them. Yet they did not listen to their judges, for they whored after other gods and bowed down to them. They soon turned aside from the way in which their fathers had walked, who had obeyed the commandments of the Lord, and they did not do so. Whenever the Lord raised up judges for them, the Lord was, the, was with the judge, and he saved them from the hand of their enemies all the days of the judge. For the Lord was moved to pity by their groaning because of those who afflicted <clears throat> and oppressed them. But whenever the judge died, they turned back and were more corrupt than their fathers, going after other gods, serving them and bowing down to them. They did not drop any of their practices or their stubborn ways. So the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel, and he said, Because this people have transgressed my covenant that I commanded their fathers and have not obeyed my voice, I will no longer drive out before them any of the nations that Joshua left when he died in order to test Israel by them, whether they will take care to walk in the way of the Lord as their fathers did or not. So the Lord left those nations, not driving them out quickly, 
and he did not give them into the into the hand of Joshua. All right. Get a little coffee. My voice is always a little scratchy in the morning. <clears throat> and the New Testament. We're going to Acts uh, chapter 13, verses 16 through 25. And here we go. So Paul stood up and motioning with his hand said, Men of Israel, and you who fear God, listen. The God of this people Israel chose our fathers and made the people great during their stay in the land of Egypt, and with uplift, uplifted arm he led them out of it. And for, 40, for about, and for about forty years he put up with them in the wilderness. And after destroying seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave them their land as an inheritance. All this took about four... 450 years <clears throat> and after that he gave them judges until Samuel the prophet then they asked for a king and God gave them Saul the son of Kish a man of the tribe of Benjamin for 40 years and when he had removed him he raised up David to be their king of whom he testified and said I have found in David the son of Jesse a man after my heart who will do all my will of this man's offspring, God has brought to Israel a Savior, Jesus, as he promised. Before his coming, John had proclaimed a baptism of repentance to all of the people of Israel. And as John was finishing his course, he said, What do I suppose that I am? Or what do you suppose that I am? I am not he, no, but behold, after me one is coming, the sandals of whose feet I am not worthy to untie. And this is the word of the Lord. Let's go to the prayer of the day. Once again, opening the Pray Now app for the prayer. I, I really like the prayers that they have, they offer every day. Let us pray. O oh Lord, mercifully hear our prayers, and having set us free from the bonds of sin, deliver us from every evil. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right. Well, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day and uh, enjoy your weekend and all that good stuff. And uh, uh, I'll be back here in the morning doing this, and uh, I thoroughly enjoy it. So, anyway... Y'all have a great day. So with that, let me find the button here. Uh, so with that, y'all be safe, be happy, and be blessed. And we'll see you tomorrow on Coffee and the Word. Bye-bye.